Welcome back. As we earlier said, we're going to be talking or shedding light over President Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, visit to Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, uh, to attend uh, the Arab China Summit for Cooperation and Development, and also uh, um, the, this participation of this China Arab Summit comes within the framework of Egypt's keenness to strengthen and develop the distinguished and historical relations between uh, Egypt and uh, um, between the Arab world and China in general. Very delighted to be having with us live over the phone His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Ambassador Bayoumi. Good morning, how are you? How are you doing, sir? A beautiful hi, day hi. to you. Uh, of course, uh, if you could talk to us about the significance of the President's uh, participation in the first Arab Chinese summit, how do you assess it? It is giving a touch of success to this process which started uh, some years ago because we have many conferences between Arabs and China but it was not yet on the presidential or the summit level. Mm. I, I, I attended many of these either in Cairo or Pekin and it was uh, held under the auspices of uh, the Arab League of the Arab League uh, in, in, in Cairo or in, uh, by hosting it in, in Bikin by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Now we have a very good chance that all our leaders will meet the leader of China and to talk to him and to uh, uh, also to meet as Arabs. We have many chances that the leaders will have bilateral meetings or uh, meetings with uh, China or meetings with the whole community of the Arabs and China together. This will create by itself a lot of chances in order to bring more trade among the participants, more investment, exchange of experience in many fields. And uh, we, we as Egyptians, we are happy to see this development in our Chinese relations. Because, as you will know, in our history, in our diplomatic history, Egypt was the first country in the whole third world who recognized China in 1956. And we, we paid a lot because of this, because the whole uh, Western uh, world was not happy with these relations. And we were punished even by uh, committing a war against uh, Egypt, the tripartite war of 1956 mm. against Egypt. Right. Now, uh, to prove the, 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 that we were correct, that China is becoming the largest exporter of the world and mm. the most important partner of the United States of America, which was opposing the existence of this country. And now China is one very important trade partner to most of the world. The Arab states. Right. How do you weigh the developing strategic Egyptian Chinese relations, especially uh, in the past years? It is solid. It is going gradually, uh, widening its efforts. Mm. It creates new fields of cooperation. Now we have the Egyptian initiative during the meeting of uh, the African summit where we propose to enlarge our investment in Africa by the Egyptian experience and the Chinese finance. And China immediately accepted this proposal. So we expect in the near future that uh, much more investment in the African countries with the experience coming from Egypt because we are very accepted face in this area of the world. And China, of course, is a very uh, important partner in all these efforts. Also, uh, after we, we create the new Suez Canal, mm. China is becoming much more interested in our area in order to produce in this zone and to have the chance to export to all our partners exempted from custom duties, whether to the Arab world or to Africa, also to the European Union. Many chances are there, and we are up to it.
Right. Uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador Bayoumi, if you could excuse me, we're going to be uh, featuring a report on the same topic and be, uh, we'll be right back, but uh, you can stay with us. Okay. President Abdel Fattah Sisi visits Saudi Arabia, capital Riyadh, to participate in the first Sino Arab summit. Presidential spokesman uh, Bassem Rodi said uh, President Al Sisi participating in the summit comes within the uh, framework of Egypt's keenness to strengthen and develop the distinguished historical relations between the Arab countries and China. The summit aims at building uh, the extended political dialogue between the two sides as well as consultations and coordination to maximize prospects for mutual cooperation at the economic and development levels. In the Saudi capital Riyadh, the president met with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. During the meeting, the president said he is looking forward to enhance partnership with the Chinese president during the coming period to develop bilateral relations, especially in light of historical friendly relations binding the two countries and peoples. For his part, the Chinese leader hailed Egypt's role under the leadership of President al-Sisi in boosting security and stability in the Middle East, which China is depending on to establish a Chinese-Arab partnership. Jinping said his country was looking forward to boost its partnership with Egypt at all levels, expanding the fields of cooperation. He reiterated that Beijing would support Egypt in its development process under leadership of President al-Sisi. D pointed to the promising investment opportunities for Chinese companies in Egypt. The Chinese president congratulated President al-Sisi on the high-level Egyptian organization of the Global Climate Summit COP27 and the success that Egypt had achieved. Also on Thursday, President al-Sisi met with Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said the president renewed his congratulations to the Iraqi premier on his success in gaining confidence in the parliament and forming the government. The president hailed the deep ties that bind the two Arab countries and said Egypt is looking forward to broaden cooperation with Iraq in various domains. The head of state emphasized the solid uh, principles of Egyptian uh, policies in supporting uh, Iraq and magnifying the Arab uh, national role as well as providing full support to Iraqi people at various levels. President al-Sisi pointed out the importance of expediting the implementation of joint projects between Egypt and Iraq so that the economic achievements keep up with political outlook between the two sides. For his part, the Iraqi Premier extended his appreciation to Egypt's efforts in supporting Iraq on all levels, adding that his country is looking forward to expand cooperation with Egypt. Uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi is still with us over the phone, uh, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Uh, welcome back, Ambassador Bayoumi. And we were talking about uh, the uh, upcoming, of course, uh, the expected uh, summit, Chinese Arab summit in uh, the first Chinese Arab summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. But let us take a flashback when there was an earlier, years earlier, there was a visit by the Chinese president to Egypt. And that was an important step and the Sino-Egyptian uh, relations uh, ever since uh, um, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi have stepped into office. Yes, it is a, a, a long story. It is a historical relations. Uh, some people would uh, uh, mention thousands of years of relations. But in mm. our recent history, of course, we started by Gamal Abdel Nasser and uh, Mao Zedong Shu in Lai visited Egypt several times. Uh, many of our presidents, they visited uh, China. Our president, Fatah Sisi, hosted the mm. Chinese president in, in Egypt. And he himself, he visited Bikin. And he says very important uh, uh, thing here. Uh, our president says when we go to the east, to Bikin or Moscow, we are not giving our back to the West, because Egypt is a friendly country to all the countries of the world. And always I say that Cairo is the most populated uh, 
capital of foreign embassies. We have every single country in the world has representatives in our country. This means that we are we have a very wide foreign policy, but we are friends to the whole world. We can be anywhere in the world to intervene as a good partner, and we are using this quite well for the international security and peace, for our uh, relations, whether it is uh, political, economy, or culture and dialogue. Right. Um, of course, uh, to what extent we're talking about or moving to the Chinese-Egyptian economic partnerships? Of course, there is uh, a strong bond that was established. You kindly have uh, uh, talked about the historical ties uh, earlier before President Abdel Fattah Sisi, but still again with President Sisi's uh, excellent foreign policy uh, and vision. Um, those ties have developed and have come a long way and have also took a strength to a total new level. So talk to us about the uh, Chinese-Egyptian uh, economic partnership. We have uh, several developments uh, lately. First, that when we establish a new Suez Canal, mm. this attracts many countries, among them is China, to come and to produce here in Egypt. Because if you produce in Egypt, you have two uh, benefits here. First, that you are m much more nearer to the Arab world, to Africa, and to Europe. Then you don't waste time to uh, ship your merchandise from Bikin up to Europe. Second, that if you produce in Egypt and you have a certificate of origin to your production as Egyptian, it will be exempted from any custom duties or any trade barriers in a huge market of 2,000 million inhabitants in Africa and the Arab world and uh, in Europe. Uh, uh, mind you, of course, that the Suez Canal itself, it serves the international trade and the Chinese trade to be everywhere as quick as possible. Many occasions are there, and we, are, we, we, we know that this will attract more and more investment from China and all our partners. Right. How do you think can Egypt uh, uh, make its best uh, uh, use or benefit uh, from the uh, uh, Chinese economic experience and uh, also the mechanisms of uh, Chinese technology that was transferred, uh, transferred to Egypt? I mean, uh, benefiting from that increasing number of experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, A very important point, because China since uh, 2009 became the largest exporter of the world. And this is something very dear to, to uh, learn it, how they became the largest exporter, how they became the most important partner to the biggest uh, power in the world, which is the United States, how they keep these relations without any disturbance, although they are, uh, after all, uh, competing each other. China also has a, a wealthy uh, reserve of uh, dollars. It is the largest reserve of dollars anywhere in the world. All these experiences, we must have a look at it. We have to talk to our Chinese uh, friends and to learn how they did it. It is very active people. We are active also, mm. and we have to uh, make together a sort of exchange of experience in such a very important field. Right. Uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, as you can see, uh, that uh, the uh, Arab delegates have uh, already arrived uh, in the capital, Riyadh, uh, Saudi yes. Arabia, to attend the first Arab-Chinese summit uh, that is starting and uh, actually uh, uh, more delegates are expected uh, to arrive soon throughout the day. Uh, as we can see, there is footage that is uh, live bringing to us, brought to us. Back to you, Ambassador Bayoumi. 
Yes, I'm very sorry, yes, but yes. because uh, we it, had it a life. It is a good just... chance, of course, that right. the main topic is China and the Arabs. Of course. But of course, uh, as you, we have seen already, our president make, uh, made a bilateral meeting with the Iraqis, with the Saudis, of course, mm. and the whole Arab League countries are represented there. So it is, uh, on the other hand, a sort of Arab summit, mm. uh, a gathering all the Arab uh, countries. This is the uh, largest Arab gathering after the meeting in Algeria and the Algerian Arab summit, of course. So, and this is a very good chance because I, I feel satisfied whenever the dialogue is continuing, this will create more and more interesting projects between and among all the Arab states and Egypt. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, uh, uh, of course, you're a former assistant foreign minister. would like to thank you so much uh, talking to the breakfast show. My pleasure, sir. And you have a beautiful day. We're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show. So stay with us.